wonderful to see you all. I'm very excited today because I have my very special friend Damien with me. <laughs> Sometimes Damien can be nervous when meeting new people. So let's make him feel extra welcome and comfortable, shall we? <laughs> Brill! Are we all ready to say hello? Maybe if we count so Damien can hear the build-up, he might be brave and come and say hello. Are you ready? One, two, three! Damien! Oh, hello Damien, well done, you really helped there. <laughs> you helped Damien feel more confident. Oh, Damien is very good at making people smile. He is from a country called France, which is quite a long way away from England. Have you ever been on holiday somewhere far away on a plane? Maybe you and your grown-up can think about how it was. Was it hot or was it cold? Did people speak in a different language? I think I have an idea that might make Damien feel even more welcome. Do you think if we all try together, we could learn how to say hello in his language? People in France speak French. To say hello in French, you say bonjour. Shall we try saying it together? Bonjour. And again, bonjour. And one more time, bonjour. Oh, amazing. And now a little bit quicker, bonjour. And again, bonjour. Oh, fantastic. Damien, did you hear that? The young ones and the grown-ups can now say hello in French. Shall we do it with our little hello hand? Bonjour. Now you. Bonjour! Oh, brilliant! Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could say hello in lots of different languages? That way, we could communicate with people from all different countries and all areas of the world. Wait, I have an idea. What if we all made a hello hand together with different ways to say hello? <laughs> Are you ready to get in your art box? Brilliant! Let's get going, shall we? We'll need a bright piece of coloured card, some scissors, a glue stick, a lollipop stick, a pencil or felt-tip pen, and yours or your grown-up's hand. Are you ready? Let's go! First, pop your hand on top of the card and draw carefully around it. Next, get your grown-up to help you cut out the hand shape just like this. Brilliant! Now, stick your lollipop stick onto the bottom of the hand shape. Do you have your felt tips or pencils ready? Great! Shall we start by writing our newly learnt word in French to our hand? Do you remember it? Bonjour! Can you say that with me? Bonjour! Perfect! How about we now put our own language on as well? For me, I come from England, so I'll write hello. How do you say hello? Make sure that you write it down. Now, how about we write some other languages on our hand? You might run out of room, but don't forget, there are two sides, the front and the back. Now, how about we try in Spanish? In Spain, they say hola to say hello. Are you ready to practice? Brilliant! After three. One, two, three. Hola. Do you think that you can fit this onto your hand? Fantastic. H O L A. Hola. Oh, and I can also think of another one. How about we write hello in German? This one is a little similar to English, but instead of saying hello, they say Hello. Are you ready to try it? Hello. One, two, three. Hello. Oh, brilliant. When we write this one, we simply write it very much like the English version. However, we spell it H and replace the E with an A. Then L L O. Oh, amazing. Hello! <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, we want to share one of our stories with you as well because we think that learning languages is brilliant. Are you ready? Oh, fantastic! Spike the Mixed Up Monster 
Words by Susan Hood Pictures by Melissa Sweet Spike was a monster, or so he thought. He had a slithery tail, a spiky crown, stompy teeth. See, I'm a monster all right. Spike spent hours practising his monster moves. He'd swoosh that tail, shake those spikes and bare those teeth. He'd splish, splash, splatter and splutter. There was just one little problem. Spike was no bigger than a lily pad. So no one was afraid of Spike. Oh, my funny little fish face, quacked El Pato. Spike shook his spikes. Ah, amigo, said El Armadillo. You're cuter than a bug's behind. Spike swooshed his tail. I caramba! You're almost as adorable as I am, said El Campanol. Spike bared his teeth. Oh, he has such a sweet smile, everyone agreed. Spike's crown of spikes drooped and he sank beneath the water, settling into the scum at the bottom of the lake. I'm a horrible monster, he thought. A no good, horrible monster. Early one misty morning, a traveller appeared by the lake. A monster, a real monster. A healer monster. He wore a black mask and flicked a black tongue. Here was a monster as tough as they come. One look and the animals knew what to do. El monstruo, quacked El Pato. Flap and fly, flap and fly. El monstruo, cried El Armadillo. Dig and hide, dig and hide. El monstruo said El Campagnol. Run inside, run inside. Only Spike was left to face El Monstruo. He knew what to do. His monster moves. He shook his spikes, bared his teeth and swooshed his tail. He splished, splashed, splattered and spluttered. El Monstruo didn't make a move. He didn't make a sound. He stopped and stared. Did I scare you? asked Spike. Scare me? No, El Monstruo laughed. It's just that no one has ever smiled at me before. Oh, said Spike. His crown of spikes drooped as he dropped back down into the water. Wait, cried El Monstruo. Wait, amigo, I need your help. I was headed for my cousin's fiesta, but I took a siesta. Now I am lost. Everyone runs away from me, so I have no one to ask for help. Well, I can help you, said Spike. And he flashed his fellow monster a big, friendly monster grin as he pointed out the correct path. Gracias, amigo, said El Monstruo, returning Spike's smile. Amigo, said Spike. De nada, mi amigo. Adios. Adios, amigo, said El Monstruo. See you next time. And he was on his way. Slowly, carefully, El Pato, El Armadillo and El Campanol crept out of their hiding places. You saved us, quacked El Pato. How did you do it? asked El Armadillo. How did you tame the monster? asked El Campanol. Spike just smiled because he knew that he just made friends but he hadn't been as scary as he wanted and that was okay as well. Now here you can see the page more about Spike and his amigos. Amigos in Spanish are friends. Here we have Spike and he's a salamander. The El Monstruo which is a Gila monster and we've got El Campanol which is a Mexican vole. And on the next page, we've got El Pato, who's a cinnamon teal duck, and El Armadillo, which is a nine-banded armadillo. Now here as well, we have some Spanish words. Adios, which is goodbye. El Armadillo, the armadillo. Ay caramba. Oh goodness. El Campanol, the vole. De nada. It was nothing. 
fiesta, festivities or party. Gracias, thanks, mi amigo, my friend, el monstruo, the monster, el pato, the duck, si, yes, and siesta, which is an afternoon nap. Oh, maybe you can practice those with your grown-up. Oh, fantastic. We're so happy to share that story with you. Why don't you and your grown-up learn some other languages and practice other ways to say hello? Once you've added them onto your hello hand, you'll be an expert in how to say hello in so many different languages. Oh, isn't that brilliant, Damien? Keep on practising and I'll see you next time for another adventure with another one of my special friends. Bye! Or as they say in France, au revoir!